I would start my YouTube in the middle of the woods, eating Popeyes and running into someone from high school. Tell me when you're ready. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to just share with you guys um, my journey that I'm currently on and have been on for the last year and a half. And recently I just started fasting, um, doing the Daniel fast with my church. And for those of you who don't know what that is, um, I stuck to a certain diet and made sure to like not eat stuff that I normally would want um, and just focused on prayer and really spending quality time with God. I really felt defeated at first because I didn't know exactly what I was gonna get out of this um, Daniel fast. Last year I got something out of it, but this year is different. So this year my, hold on, got a little, <laughs> little hair on my lip gloss. This year my pastor, Pastor Diego, started preaching on 2020 vision. He really encouraged me to just follow my dreams and know that like God's going to give you a vision in my in my heart and to run with it. Um, this is just something I've had for like two years in my heart that I've always wanted to do. It's actually fun fact the first reason why I even got a camera. I never got a camera to do photography. I got it to start a YouTube. I didn't know what I wanted to do. At first I thought maybe makeup tutorials I like doing makeup, but makeup's not my passion. It's just something that I've learned. It's a cool hobby that I like to do with people. Um, but anyways, point is, is now I'm starting my YouTube. I'm officially doing it. And I think I've been stalling because I know that I'm not consistent or committed to doing things for myself, which is something that God revealed to me during this fast as well. And I'm just over it. I'm just ready to start. Just to give you guys some background on what this YouTube channel is going to be about. It's going to be about my, how I became an entrepreneur at 22 and the things that I experience and the conversations and the people I meet. And I, duh, had a big like fart in my head and was like, wait, Selena, you're surrounded by so many entrepreneurs your age. I don't think that's like really normal. I've never been surrounded by this many opportunity, this many people with visions, this many creative people. And I love the conversations that we have and we talk about. But most of all, like, I don't think we'd be able to get through a lot of the things that we get through if it wasn't for God. And that's something that we all have in common. Half of the people that I've met, my clients, half of my friends that are in videography, photography and marketing, I met at church. So that's really cool. And we always talk about the people we meet, the experiences, the ups and the downs that we go through as entrepreneurs. And I thought, wow, you know what? That's something that I could share with people because I get a lot of questions like, oh, I'm sure you make a lot of money or like, oh, who's that in your photo? Or like, who did you travel with last year? And I really want to just be able to shed light on that. So I'm gonna have vlogs on my days where I'm going from work to my nine to five job, then to my freelancing job. And then also just sharing stories about the people that I meet and the experiences and then the cold hard reality of being an entrepreneur because it's literally a roller coaster. I don't think I've, I've learned so much, especially last year, what it takes to be an entrepreneur. And I've learned a lot about myself as an individual. There's certain areas that I could grow in, um, financially, responsibility, organizing, and I'm still working on that. So I wanna take you guys along with me on that journey. <laughs> Subscribe. Comment down below, guys. Share this. I can't wait to share with you guys. Okay, cool. Wait, you don't, you don't want to see a little bit of this? 